Good morning, it's me, Jen, and I am honored to spend another day in our week together uh, exploring uh, ecological consciousness and self-awareness and uh, self-actualization using inquiry to, as we've been talking about, about <clears throat> develop this robust and sincere inner relationship with ourselves and what are the ways that we can do that um, and not just come into relationship with ourselves as you know individuals but also into ourselves as extensions of our earth home and as in relation with our uh, animal kinfolk and um, and with each other so um, <clears throat> one of the uh, self-inquiry uh, teachings you will find from the Vedic tradition uh, comes from the Upanishads uh, and it's called Neti Neti and, and that is a Sanskrit meaning, it's a Sanskrit expression meaning not this, not that, not this, not this and it's essentially self-inquiry using negation where um, <clears throat> there's attention placed on, uh, the, what in that teaching are called objects of consciousness. So that means things that I am aware of, things that I see, things that I think, things that are in my field of vision. Um, these would be considered objects of consciousness. And then the, uh, goal of the neti neti, um, <clears throat> practice is to uh, negate, say, that is not, you know, when you say, who am I? You know, who, 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 what is this? I am not this, not this. I'm not this. I'm not this thought. I'm not that story. I'm not that pain. And through this process of negation, um, there, as we talked about in the video yesterday, there's this sort of turning inside out where the objects of consciousness are not as real and relevant as this witnessing inner awareness that is aware of the objects of consciousness. And there's this kind of turning inside out. Um, and so I think that kind of way of doing, uh, inquiry is, is helpful, but I've also, considered what's the opposite of neti neti not this not this um so what's the opposite of negation and that is what like affirmation inclusion and so what would an inquiry of yes this yes this look like and i've been exploring that um, and, and one of the um, outgrowths of that exploration is what I call uh, a radio inquiry. And um, so this kind of comes along, like Tesla said, uh, if you want to know the secrets of the universe, you have to think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. And so this is kind of coming into that, uh, what Tesla was pointing to, in that... <clears throat> when I'm quiet and centered within myself and present in the moment, that I can kind of experience myself in the imaginal realm, using the imaginal realm to experience myself as a, as a radio. And, uh, in the same way as a radio has stations, frequencies, I too have those kind of stations within me. And when I attune my inner dial to a particular station within me, I then am, have access to information about myself inside that I wouldn't have if I wasn't dialed into that particular station. So for example, within me, one of my, um, 
one of my superpowers and my um, kinks in life is hypervigilance that arises out of trauma. And it's been really important for me to come into relationship with that hypervigilance because it caused me a lot of suffering when I wasn't in relationship with it, conscious awareness and relationship with it. And so one of the stations in me that I can attune to is that station of hypervigilance. So when I get really present and quiet in the moment, and then I feel into that particular station and frequency of hypervigilance, and then I start listening to it for the information that it's giving to me. And I'm just taking note of that information, kind of just like listening to a song on the radio, right? And even if I come back to the station enough, I get to know the songs that play pretty much on repeat on that station, right? I become familiar with that station and uh, I make peace with it. It is a place that I can go to, to attune to information when I need to, say when the hyper, when I'm, say I'm being really, overreactive or I'm being paranoid because of the hypervigilance and um, and I'm trying to figure out what's going on with my behavior so I inwardly quiet myself and I go turn on my radio and I start to uh, listen to that particular station and what's going on what is the information I'm getting what does it need me to know what does it want me to hear what songs are playing <clears throat> And likewise, you can go into the, the station of your heart. You know, we all have that station. And there are songs that play from that station that may have never been heard, that want to be heard. But we've never taken the time to go inwardly and listen to those songs playing at the frequency of the station of your heart. Uh, so this is a kind of inquiry that I'm pointing to. And this is just another heuristic because the goal is of inquiry is self-awareness. And self-awareness is just being in relationship with yourself. It's being in relationship with yourself in a way that you can then be in relationship with the world. And so things like yesterday when I shared self as house as a heuristic for moving inside of yourself and looking around, I offer today the uh, <clears throat> radio heuristic as a way of tuning in to the various parts of yourself. And there are unlimited stations. You're like the serious XM inside. And you can go listen to anything, any part of yourself. And all of those parts of yourself are always sharing information. That's what's important, right? Uh, I'm recently dealing with hives and I've never dealt with hives before. So I'm tuning into these hives. I'm like, oh, what's, you know, what, what does this station of hives sound like? What does it feel like? What is it? What information am I receiving as an output from this station of hives? And the magical thing about <clears throat> inquiry is that the more attention we pay to ourselves and our stories and our mind and our behavior in our inner landscape, the more attention we bring inwardly, those points of unconscious suffering start to dissipate with attention, with gentle, non-judgmental attention. It's almost like just bringing a little bit of light to what has been a dark space. And that light is is generative and reproductive it just will it, that light shedding it, it, it brings more light and suddenly what seemed like a really dark space is transformed 
So, yeah. <clears throat> I want to know about the stations in you and what you're dialed into within yourself. Um, you know, is there a station that plays just like music you can't stand? You don't want to hear it. Is there a station in you that you just love that makes you feel incredible when you tune into it? You know, maybe it's, you know, a physical ability or a mental ability or, you know, being with, you know, the, a, a parent, you know, maybe being the station of being a mother brings you great joy. And when you tune into that station, you, you think, you know, yeah, this is, this just feels, this is good. This feels good. Or maybe it feels bad. Both bringing necessary information so that we can go deeper into relationship with ourselves. Thank you. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.